Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of MZ Adventure. As you can see in front of me, we have two different type of underwater fishing cameras. One of them is portable, super lightweight. The other one is just the best, the best quality that you can get on US market as of today. It is Aqua View HD 10i Pro. Um, their resolution is just amazing under the water i mean i'm pretty sure a lot of you actually own it but this is going to be a completely different video when i talk about it today my goal is to try to just go ahead try to do a quick review for this 250 dollar ones from moqc qgr company near underwater fishing camp um just want to kind of give you guys a comps and pros especially they are a very new company and they are only selling their products through our Amazon website. Um, just want to give you guys a good decision or confidence before you actually go ahead and decide which type of camera you really want to you know, spend the money on. Obviously, it's a 15,000 versus this one, 250. Um, yeah, let's get it started. So. So as you can see from this uh, camera here, I mean from this box here, they actually get a pretty cool design on their packaging. Um, little bit of pike, walleye, perch, and some type of uh, tubies on the package. So it's pretty fun. And then once you open up the package, the next thing we see is the blue pouch, right? Uh, this pouch, at first glance, is pretty heavy duty. Um, I believe it's 100% waterproof, so it will be super helpful during if you are only using it for you know ice ice fishing during the winter time, which I kind of tend to kind of use those uh, carrier a lot, you know, because you want it to be heavy duty and you want it to be waterproof at least. So when you open up the pouch here, you can see their business card is MOQC QGR. So they are just saying that making fish easier. Um, that's their you know business line, trying to help people to do that, and also register lifetime warranty. At this moment, you know I don't know. I haven't read it in the details what their life warranties is, but. Like I said, if this camera can last me a good three to four years, I'm certified with that. All right, now let's get into the main events. So this is their head units. It is a seven inch screen um, with a 1080 high definitions, 1080p. Um, they have a little cool design. I believe that's a bass. It says fishing cam fishing cameras. So I really like what they did. Um, they put actually a sun block on your screen on the cover. So a lot of time when I'm out on the ice, if you are doing summer fishing, if you are doing winter fishing, there's always gonna deal with the sun shade. So that way it actually help you to kind of cover up, blocking out the sun. So when we turn on the fishing camera, it is, I guess you can tell it's a 1080p high definition solutions. I like it. You know, I got a big hand. I can basically carry this around. It is super lightweight, not even a good one pound. And over here, they have their base. The base looks like have a you know, camera built in. So this is near camera with 1080, super small, tiny. And yeah, so 
On the back, it basically tell you the cable length is only 82 feet, and you will display like you know on this HD seven screens. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Before we do that, sorry, like I should probably go into this. Um, they have accessories, right? So this is what an accessory looks like. So once you open it up on the camera, and you want to, here, that's, it's gonna be a little tough, okay. Here we go. Just like that, how easy, basically you just plug and play. So this is a little fishing looking camera, it's tiny, and you can kind of drop down onto, you know, the hole. I keep saying in the hole because I do a lot of ice fishing, and then during the summertime, you can drop down on a boat, right? And then I guess that you want to put like into a different angle, just like how Equal View does. You can do 90 degrees, 45 degrees, or, or 30 degrees. So basically, you know, you can adjust that by just kind of feeding this little cable lines into this, uh, this you know, little, little length here. I'm not sure you guys can tell on the camera. But generally speaking, I like to do 90 degrees. So when you fall, it will fall like this. And the other good things on this little pouch here is I really like the vendor did. And they actually include two 10 ounce sinkers. Only reason they kind of include this sinker because all these portable camera, they are super lightweight. Um, because they made it too easier for you to kind of carry around. So these cameras are light, lightweight. By doing so, they want to put like a two sinkers on a little clip here. You can clip it in on here or here because a lot of fishermen out there, maybe like you do a lot of river fishing, um, underneath the river, there's a lot of currents. So it's gonna be a hard time to kind of have this camera drop down. So let's go ahead, plug in and play. Um, so once I turn it on, here's what it looks like. It, it is very clear, crystal clear on the screen here. So overall, I really like the, you know, the, the per portable size, right? Like, you know, I do a lot of whole hop, as you guys see a lot from my channels here. I do a tons of whole hops. I personally love to prefer, you know, anything's easier to carry, right? If anything easier to carry, it's a plus sign for me. Um, so here's that camera. So we are actually going to go ahead put side-by-side -side picture image for Agra Vu camera here so people can see them, the differences between the two picture resolution. The side-by-side -side image, guys. Can you guys see the difference? I personally can't even tell. So obviously, if you're gonna sit on an ice fishing house, you definitely want something like this big, you just kind of like stable and then plug into the TV and play. Otherwise, if you try to do like a video content firming, this camera, 250 camera, you will fulfill your need. It does have a DVR system built in. Uh, you can record your videos. Um, yeah, I mean, the definition solution wise is not as bad as, you know, I will have you, I will have you, which is like a 1500 versus 250 on the market so yeah so that was my quick um, overview on these two type of cameras it doesn't matter what type of choice you're gonna make you cannot go wrong on any one of these um, there's obviously it's just all personal preference um, personally I have no complaint on both cameras so hopefully this video will be helpful um, when you can when you, when you come to your purchasing decision um, yeah so this will be it. Um, hopefully see you guys soon on the next episode. Thank you once again for tuning in on my channel and stay safe and we will see you guys soon. Bye.